Hello, esteemed colleagues of the world of internet activity. Today, I have some nonsense to take care of. I have to finish this f***ing car. The remaining work that is left to do on this thing is highly challenging to film at this point because there's lots of little things. Angel is lost or he's mimicking Sasquatch skiing, cross-country skiing. It's a Bigfoot sighting. <laughs> I'm a Littlefoot sighting. <laughs> Angel and I are gonna do nothing but just hammer this car out for the next couple days until it's done. And this video is probably gonna be nonsensical because I'm losing my mind, okay? First mission, burn our fingers off. This is gonna suck. Put a little bit of lube in there. This is my least favorite thing I think I've done so far on this car. It's my least favorite thing I've done to any car. Is it going in? It starts to hurt after a while, that's for sure. <laughs> as soon as you get this piece in, I'm gonna let go before my arm and boob fly off. Like, <laughs> like a so chicken wing. Shoot off. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna fly off like a turkey leg. <laughs> I've been putting off doing this rear engine lid weather stripping for quite a while now because it is an absolute nightmare of a task. You have to stretch it while it's hot enough to almost burn your fingertips and covered in silicone lube at the same time and then shove it underneath the little metal lip with a plastic Teflon tool. I trimmed the excess about an inch up from the actual pinch point. That way, as it inevitably starts to shrink down in there, it won't end up getting too short. Annoying Beetle Things Part 375. Wait for it. Listen to that. Oh man, this, this is traumatizing. Cause that's a ton of rubber weather shirt, like, even up here. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I tried doing it by myself before and, mm -mm. but with two people. <laughs> easy peasy, Jesus, I thought you were gonna hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make sure that camera's close enough. <laughs> oh my god, you can, you can see my pores from there. That's why I hardly ever record 4K videos, because I don't want people looking at the apartments inside my pores. Apartments? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna take hours. Hours, I tell you. not trying to break my butt. Positive white wire. I think it's time to test. Okay, connect the battery. Battery connected. Ooh, the fuel pump sounds like a dinosaur. I don't have any bulbs, so I don't have any front blinkers. So it's gonna hyper blink most likely. This is hard to do with one hand. Yeah. So these right here are new old stock parts, VW parts, that I actually ordered from Germany. Satin black OEM VW trim. Well, those are OEM. Unfortunately, the little hardware that holds them on is aftermarket, so I'm sure something won't fit well because of that. <laughs> Slightly salty, because all the last parts we're trying to install, nothing fits. Angels on boring stuff duty. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've already made three videos of wiring and I don't know how many more dashboard wiring videos I can do. I had to reorder the switches for the dash that were OEM VW switches because the aftermarket ones just were junk. They did not work. So hopefully now everything will work correctly. Even though this thing's got part 74, part 71, part 68. It's got all kinds of different components on it. This is so nerve wracking. I have to take a metal punch and a hammer to the side of the car. What? <laughs> or dent the panel. You know what I mean? Like, that's a lot of stress. 
No? It's not denting it, it's just a thick car. gently -ing. There's one. That's tight. Got it. Charlie has arrived bringing water. And fizzies. And fizzies? I mean, it could have been worse. You could have been carrying a rabid monkey and tripped on an elephant's spunk. dick. What's a rabid spunky? I said an elephant's dick. Oh. Uh, I gotta open the carburetor and see what jets are in it. Frank at Churco said it should be 125s in the main and then a 165 in the secondaries. I'm kind of glad I decided to keep this molding right here. I was gonna delete it, but I felt it's supposed to have it. It's OEM, so. I'm running into a slight issue on this door because this door, these holes were welded shut on it when I bought it. The problem is these little, that's a bad shot of my nose. The problem is the way these little clipper doodles work is you push that pin in and it spreads these bottom little teeth outward. It's hard to show this with a 15 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens, but if you can see right there, the thickness of the metal it's, it's a lot thicker because these were welded shut. So I might have to take the door panel back off and grind the material on the back side. I don't even think you can get up to that, actually. It has too much fuel in it. It's, it's a 140. It's supposed to be a 125. Oh, really? Yeah. Which which one? Which, which the, jet? The primary. Yeah, which is weird because the secondary was supposed to be bigger, like a 165, and it's a 137. In. You guys know I like never self promote my other social media platforms, but I want to let you guys know I've been doing Twitter and TikTok consistently now. So on Twitter, if you guys want to see daily random Craigslist car finds that I come across, I'm sharing them there and also random weird stuff, as well as I'm using my TikTok for Sarah's song recommendations. This week I've been doing 2000s new metal and alternative and industrial metal. So if you guys are into music, my TikTok, and if you wanna see random cars for sale that I think are neat, my Twitter. All right, back to work. So it's already in the afternoon. I just finished uploading the last video you guys have watched and uh, did this this morning. This trim strip is on, just had to modify these little clips by removing the little cushion on it and trimming the plastic a bit to make them work. Today, Sarah spends six and a half hours trying to screw a hazard light button together. I gotta screw the pad in still, so just keep that in mind. I'll just pull the dash pad. There you go. So it works. I just got, I gotta mount this permanently. So Angel and I have been working on this car already all day and it's 4.05 in the evening and I'm just like now recording stuff. Opening. There's all kinds of shit in the top of this box. This was my solution for not having adequate location to mount rear speakers. Polk audio because it's a German car. Oh, these are gonna be so sick. I put a lot of thought into this. For the rear speaker housings. Yeah? That thing looks crazy. And these guys right here bolt around the roll cage and then attach like that and the speaker goes inside there. So that way it has rear speaker boxes. I didn't want to put some cheesy plywood garbage back there with some speakers in it for sound. I wanted it to look like someone cared. Ow, my spinal cord. Angel, this is not fun. It doesn't look like fun. So I have that as an option. There would be two of them right next to each other. Or I also ordered these, which is a pivot block. It's all like really nice billet. Option letter W. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. That was an absolute win going with these speakers. I'm so glad I thought of doing this because it paid off. Don't mind the tape on the glass, I gotta clean that off. But look, they don't block visibility, so they're tucked down there in the corner of the cage, and you don't have really any visibility right here anyway, so it's it's just in that little dead space. You know what these look like? The center of a prop for our airplane. 
seats don't yeah oh my boobs final position look at that yeah. they don't block your view at all got them tucked right there behind the seat pillar i love that absolutely love it it's just like so i don't know it, it fits the era of the car for whoever won this thing i'm including a set of kick panel enclosures that are not cut out. I just didn't think it would look good with all the carpet down there and also it reduces your foot room quite a bit. So I'm gonna include these with the car for the new owner, whoever ended up winning it in case they wanna add front speakers. There's also one location right here on the driver's side of the dash to add a small like center channel maybe. You can only do one on one side because the glove box goes over there but I'll also leave that area blank. So it's room to expand. Shout out to anyone else that literally buys a brand of speaker just so it fits the vibe of the car. Yeah, these aren't bad looking. It's not Dolby surround sound, but it's definitely gonna make some noise. Don't go. Um, skizzies and termites. Termites. Foam is nice and thick. Okay, you get your started and I'll hold it. It might look like it's gonna hit, but I don't think it will. I think I kind of see the the old washer marks. We hit. Are we clear? Keep going. I think we're clear. We're clear? Yeah. Oh, that's so sick. My black plastic OEM mirror, because it had metal chrome ones on there. Smooth brain pliers to the rescue. New gaskets. Wait, pull, pull, pull. Yeah, the finishing touch, da da da. I saved the best for last. The finishing touch, the uh, MP wood wheel for this thing. <laughs> that looks so good. I know there's still some stuff that I need to finish up here on the dash, but that's gonna just happen off camera. Adapter. That's what's up. <sighs> that looks so good. I didn't snap the horn button in all the way just yet. I wanna make sure that the wiring works. So that circuit before I click it in because it's kind of a pain to pop it back off and the ground that goes through the steering column, I might need to replace that because I didn't get continuity when I checked it before. The dash isn't totally finished. I still gotta put this little trim ring on and I still have the brake warning light which is not going to be active on this car because it has a newer master cylinder than this system, as well as the glove box and the little trim bezels that go around the gauge cluster area. I'm so happy with how these turned out though, and I can't wait to hear what they sound like. That wheel though, that just completes it. I love the way that looks inside here. So what do you think? How do you think it turned out? I like it. It turned out really awesome. The next video I do on this car is the final video of the project series, aside from a car view. But that's it after this part two of this finale. All that's left really is I gotta finish the jetting tomorrow when I get the rest of it. I got one more thing I gotta do the car, which will be in the final video. Bye.